Capricorn, welcome to your reading. We're just going to look into how this lunar eclipse is going to affect your love life. So let's go ahead and start. Archangel Michael, Capricorn, please. We have the Magician. You could be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo. Or this is your energy right now. Um, let's see. Get you a tea leaf. We have chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Okay, and what is being healed for Capricorn here, Michael? This eclipse. What is being healed for? Okay, I'll take this. Okay, what's being healed here is spirituality and religion. Maybe you feel like a disconnect here, or maybe if you are already spiritual, there's going to be um, like a deepening of your relationship with that. So, I'm gonna clarify these in a little bit. We have third house, which is the house of Gemini as well, um, which is the magician. So this is a lot of communication or maybe speaking. Are you, you're planning to be a speaker? We have Aquarius. You might have a third house in Aquarius. We have lunar eclipse, dramatic change, shift in perception, unveiling dissolution cycles, endings, beginnings, transformation, and we have Pluto transformation oh my god you guys are having a massive massive if you're in social media or any platform that is online there is going to be a slingshot boost this is insane this is heavy basically the universe granted you a wand and you could do as you so wish with that wand and right underneath we have Leo. This is really um, getting back to your confidence. I'm getting someone that was probably waiting for the light bulb moment, the green light. It's going to be coming, uh, maybe even in a day. Like tomorrow you're gonna wake up and it's going to be like insane. Um, you might have Pluto transiting your third house as well. I'm just getting heavy. Um, you might feel a little bit raw and maybe a little sexual in a bit um this is just really coming out all of um like the lilith energy and through this this volcanic i'm not gonna say it's kind of like percolating um it's going to channel through this is heavy social media um this is community, social media, this is communication, um, publication, this is, if there's been a blockage here for you guys, something's being eclipsed here for you and it's going to transform in a very, the mag, I'm getting, I'm hearing magnitude, um, something is trying here so when it's a trine usually it's an easy easy passage the energies for you it's it's not like you need like 10 cups of coffee to wake up this is no need of coffee you just need water and you're good but once some transits here are done i think they're gonna give you three months to kind of milk this energy and once that transit or that energy kind of ebbs, like it ebbs away, like you have to kind of um, keep going. Because if you slack off here, maybe from three months to 11 months, like this is probably like a gateway to, I'm hearing amassing wealth. I don't know what you're manifesting here, but this is huge, huge, huge. Screw the Ten of Pentacles. This is like kingdom of it. This is this is huge. I don't know 
what you're doing here. This is this is insane. Had this not come out, it wouldn't be so um, profound, but it has chain of events that will affect your life. So once you do this right, it's like a domino effect, slingshot. Okay, so let's see your relationships. Maybe as well, your manifestation. I'm hearing for some of you, when you guys started maybe doing law of attraction, manifestation, spirit was actually testing you guys how often you guys would do it. And for some that really was very meticulous and have been doing it um, daily, and it's kind of like part of your day to day, um, they've seen that and they're gonna be gifting you something. And we have restriction. Yeah, there's like a restriction, a very restrictive here, and it's being eclipsed. I don't know what it is in your life. Maybe community. Maybe you've been in hermit mode, or maybe you've just haven't been talking. And I'm getting for those businesses that have been online, like selling Amazon or like Instagram or something online, even medicine online. Um, I'm hearing fly free. Okay, musical influence. Music is healing. You could be dealing with an Aquarius that's a musician. Healing conflict. So this is just a lot of conflict being resolved in love. Paralyzed, fierce, burn the rule book. So it looks like you dated someone that's not really your type, maybe a Scorpio, and it looks like nothing came out of that. just did um, I think Aquarius and I'm getting the same message here is when you get into a relationship you go all in before knowing what you're going all in for it's like you wanna sign up for their entire family before meeting the entire family kind of thing um, this is just heavy um, naivete kind of thing like um rose tinted glasses kind of outlook and it really leaves you in disarray and there's a continual process of crying um feeling like not enough um maybe not even speaking what's really hurting you and this process keeps going on and on and it's your it's a continual cycle of depression and it's kind of like it became you um so it's kind of like an ex expected thing so when you get into a relationship you just kind of give it oh wow we passed one month let's see if we could make it to two months it's kind of like that like when you say something that way it's kind of like that doubt already is planted in your head This is heavy, um, unresolved. This is a lot of just um, broken relationships with no closures and really hanging on to them. And it really kind of, I'm just hearing dissolve. It dissolves your, I don't know, belief. And it, like, it dissolves the magic in of itself, the magic of love, falling in love. And it's like the more this dissipates, this, this sparkly thing, the honeymoon period, it's kind of um, the magic in of itself in you starts to dwindle as well. 
there's a lot of requirement of self-love here. And I'm even getting for some celibacy. Well, it's up to you if you want, but I'm just saying like what I'm hearing. So, um, cause in your sacral chakra, every time you have sex with someone, all of their cords, all of their negativity, you absorb all of that and it's stuck in your sacral chakra. So you kind of need to cleanse that maybe with salt baths, um, or like imagining all of that cords, all of that juju stuff that's just stuck there like if you've been getting a lot of you know problems down there like that's one of like your ph is off balance i'm going <laughs> i'm not gonna go down there but yeah it's kind of like that like you really need to um cleanse detoxify in every aspect okay let's carry on here what you don't require in your life anymore and when something is being enlightened it's really time for you to cut it off and it's going to leave you a little hurt but there's a reason why some things don't work out and the more you fight it the worse it becomes trust me I know like I've been there done that and what is this Have you been dealing with someone that is non-committal and puts you in third parties, promiscuous, and you're kind of like a beggar? Can I have some of your time? Just a little bit, please. Don't do this to yourself. I know it's easier said than done, especially when you've fallen in love already. I think too, this daydreaming thing that, you, that this could have been a ten of pentacles easily had this person been appropriately in their, you know, marbles in a way. But they choose to be in this energy. They choose to be promiscuous. They choose to not commit. They choose to. I'm hearing nasty. What? Maybe nasty in a way. Maybe you didn't know. Because the Ten of Swords is here. You didn't know. What in the world? And you maybe found out through social media? Looks like this person ghosted you too. Wait, there's just way too many people here. Who the hell is the King of Pentacles? So this is someone that likes to drink a lot, party, like a rock star. Gives you a little ass sweet nothings. This is a, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, let me just get two cards and let's see what else is coming for you. I don't like this energy. This is very selfish and it's very self-indulgent. I just wanna like, it wrangles me. I just wanna like chill this person out. And when I'm angry, I'm really good at it. Oops. Ton of cups reversed. Oh my gosh. This person's pining on you though. See what you're up to, but that's all they've been doing is watching you from afar. But this could have been an ex that you almost married or you guys plan to get married because Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, you guys probably spoke about opening businesses, opening 
or like having kids. This is like the whole nine yards kind of thing. Um, this is a lot of, and it really puts you in this two of swords energy. Stuck. Okay, let me get um, new cards, I wanna see. All right, new person coming in for Capricorn, Michael. Actually, let me clarify what this, what's chain of reaction? What is this? You know, Aquarius had this. I don't know if you have an Aquarius in there. Oh my God, it's the same person with the Fox energy. It's the same cards that came out. Or maybe the third party is an Aquarian, or you guys are sh uh, not sharing, but maybe you guys are friends and the, the guy hooked up with you both, or you guys are all in the same community, same group, maybe even church, I don't know, man, organization. And it looks like for some of you guys are okay with it too. Or the third party. Like, this is good. What? <laughs> I guess this, that, that, that works, right? If all of the people are okay with it. Okay, so for those. Okay, let's see here. New person that's not in a third party open relationship one that really wants um, solidified you and me go against the world kind of love story let's see here oh ten of pentacles so this could be a business prospect I'm getting a very uh, let me get more cards before I say anything. This could be a Scorpio or a Virgo. This is King of Wands. This is a heavy go-getter energy here. Um, I'm also, this person probably has seven to 10 businesses under their belt. Um, but this is a fast paced energy that likes to open businesses. Maybe this is the chain of reaction. It's gonna help you propel whatever business you have. Yeah, this is a hard worker. It looks like while you're hard at work, like an ex, I don't know, like the one that you got, got you messed up, um, might come back. What do they want with you? And this is after seeing you like really thriving, maybe even married. This person is maybe even to apologize. This person's stuck in their head. Oh yeah. I'm getting this person got betrayed if they invested in another partnership. They're coming in to kind of say sorry and maybe reconcile with you because the other party did not work out. It's kind of messed up. But let me get a time frame when this person is coming up for you. Time frame for cap, please, Michael. February, special date, a meaningful event, so maybe a birthday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and we have next month. So either of this three, and for some maybe in August, and this is someone that's going to be very loyal because we have a dog. All right, so let's see.
for those who want to um, wonder if their exes are coming back, I'm going to pick up three cards. I'm going to clarify each and one of them. Six cards, please, Michael. We have all is well, July. Things will work out as they should. Believe that they will and detach from outcomes. And we have, yes, loneliness. They've been feeling so lonely. They crave your attention. Hopefully it's not out of convenience. December. So maybe it's the same person. Let's see. And we have, yes, awakened. They have done the work and want to take a leap of faith for love in a few months. And we have commitment issues. No. Fear of commitment due to early childhood or past experiences when you let go. And we have twin flame. If there was any doubt, they are your twin flame. The wait is over. And we have unawakened. Take this. Okay. Um, let me clarify them. Where's the cards? There's a lot of next month. This, that. A few months, July. So when you let go, basically, it's kind of like a rubber band. They're going to feel your detachment. This person's going to start twirling around and like come running back your way. And there's to inflame anytime soon. And time to focus on yourself. Give me the all as well, July, Michael. Give me two. We have nine of pentacles. Man, this person's coming out a lot. This card. Three of Swords. Okay. So this is someone still healing from the heartbreak. I don't know, from you or from another situation. But they're still healing from something. But they're coming back. But they're still single too, if you're wondering. Give me the yes, loneliness. King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Page of Cups. This person might send a text, a flirty one too, maybe a little bit fishy, so watch out for that. I'm getting very stoic energy here, so you're not really gonna, you can't really tell if, just be careful of mind games, because while I was saying, like, I was about to shift, and that's kind of sketchy even then. Alright, so let's get Awakened. Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancer or, what is this, Pisces? This is someone very spiritual, very intuitive, or simply one that's just not talking to you right now. That could be two. Getting very sensual. What is the Two of Pentacles? Four of Swords. This person's healing, maybe even a little sick, but I'm getting it's not severe. Could be the no commitment issues. Ten of Pentacles. This person could be married, you guys. But very jealous. Yeah. Twin flame. Six of Swords, so they're leaving a location. Wheel of Six, yeah, this is someone, I, either this is from a past life soulmate, or this is someone that you feel like coming home to. It's that feeling of home. Um, I was getting a message, I just don't know what it was. I'm getting like, you guys... Like when you think of this person, there's like butterflies in it. Or like it drops. I think you're still in communication with this person. Just random stuff. Like not heavily, but like happy birthday kind of thing. Okay, the unawakened one is this dude. Um, this could be a fire sign, Sag, Leo, Aries, but not necessarily. This is just their energy because this person is going under karma, judgment. You don't want to be near that while they're going through whatever that is because you might get a little bit of 
like splatter of their karma on you and you don't want to be near it. I don't know what that person did, but it's kind of dark. We have Four of Wands, Knight of Cups, Four of Pentacles. This person is a little cheap with their emotions, a little cheap with their words. But this person wants your forgiveness. Could be a, a water sign or earth. I'm just hearing cheap. I don't know. <laughs> So I don't know, maybe not. I, I don't know. And it's an emperor too. Oh my god. Anyway, let's get your guidance. We have nurture yourself with Mother Mary. Persistence. Keep doing you. Do not wait for these people. Because they're just going to come in their own time. You can do it with Archangel Michael. Yeah, don't wait. Okay. We have Knight of Fire, passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things carefully. Think things through carefully. And we have Ace of Swords. This is the third one you've come out with. Brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of situation and challenging beginning. So cut out what needs to be cut out, no longer serving you, and really charge forth towards a new passionate beginning. And we have the sun. Oh my god, this is beautiful to end your reading like this. I love it. This is a happy outcome, be it with a man. But this is you really standing in your own power. This is waking up in the morning with a smile on your face doing a little cha-cha when you're brushing your teeth it's kind of that happiness that no one can steal from you um this is really finding your own confidence and not by you know like relationships or associations this is really um and i think this is when you found like you're being propelled to really um because there's a lot of you guys that are i'm hearing like wallflower that are very very um like hot and gorgeous and you guys kind of choose people that are not worthy of you or do not appreciate you and i'm even hearing um make you feel insecure because they would be comparing you to other people um you get out of the energy because you're attracting that same energy as well and it's kind of like a mirrored effect and knowing there's like two divine counterparts here you guys have to stay in your vibration to kind of keep drawing the same um good energy coming your way because once you this is this is not just a, a thing you do one night this is going to be a lifestyle for you you, you do it like everyday manifesting good things because you're going to be attracting high valued people this is not going to be the fuck boy fuck girls that you're going to be attracting as a capricorn you guys need stability you can't be in this whirlpool especially the dating game right now you guys really need to stand in your power so you get to take like a pick out of like like dozens of people don't let them treat you like this this is insane like i've never seen like so many intertwined energies all right so this is all i have for you guys um i hope this enlightened you some way somehow like subscribe if you haven't done so um lots of love bye